know, all of us um, coming together and discussing our issues of racism. And they expect us to, um, you know, be quiet and, and, and be silent and, you, you know, just... Were you at the funeral? No, I thought... I was there. I was part of the funeral service of the five funeral. I was the biggest crowd in it. Oh, it was thousands. Most of the campaigns I'm involved, we've started with small beginnings mm. and to get bigger. Well, that is, is said, our hope. She, she, she's saying that we're talking to the converters. We're going to get to those rednecks out there. She, she but the only way that we're going to do that is by I mean, coming together, um, we're talking about it, planning. Now, I'll tell you something. Me and the late Monty Walder and Albert Croner gave a talk. Father Tim got us to give a talk to a packed Catholic church. You know, none of those people come up and ask us questions after. I said, Father, was just one woman got up there. She was English, Kathy Alcazi from America, Afghan bloke. And she said, Tell me more about this 1905 Act and the racism. We told her. She started up a re uh, reconciliation group. This was that 15 years ago. She's still involved with it. But you know, even in the church, these rednecks are in there. is important to us in a way because there's so much I mean, racism out there in the community and if we don't come together and talk about it and discuss it and unite and, and fight up against it, it's going to happen. And you know, we're not going to get any justice and we're going to be home still grieving, still experiencing these episodes of, of, of racism and injustices. Look what Rodney was talking about. She was here, Joe's love. He was murdered by five white fellows. Only, only one got charged, and then he had a couple of years in him. Guilford Park. Other four got let off. One man only got two years. As um, I watched that film about Palm Island, and a young bloke from Queensland, Yana, Marindu Yana, he's just going to be a time when we're going to start carting explosives, he said, like these other countries, and walk in and say, we're going to get justice somewhere. He said that on one of the movie on national television, didn't it? So, you know, young people now, my, our people, are getting very upset when I talk to them. Very angry, you know, justice all the time. It's, all, it's also about building momentum, yeah. yeah. Um, like what you were so talking about before, um, Uncle. Um, what happened to um, Mary Ann and um, the people who were at the tent embassy. I mean, all of that is, you know, is, is racism, you know. And a lot of that stuff, even a lot of the views, things that are happening to African people here, people from, you know, the Middle East and, you know, Muslim people. It's, it's all it's all linked together. You know? It's um, it, some of all that stuff, you know, put together is also, you know, one of the reasons why you know, something also is that should have happened. You know? um, and you know, we've just got to unite. We've just got to come together and um, talk about this stuff a lot more because it's not talked about. You know, get out there, speak to people within your family, speak to people, you know outside, wherever you are in your workplace, the more people know about it, the more, you know, the more momentum and the more power we could get, you know, to actually implement change, you know, and stop things like that happening. You know. um, As Titch said, when I went to Durban for a conference in the late Larry Isaac, we might for 60,000 black people, imagine if we had that back home in Western Australia in Perth, 60,000 Zulu on the streets of Durban, all in for um, Mambeki, you know, he was the president of Mandela, yeah. couldn't get together. We sat out with two to him and we told him, the laws that came to your country came from Australia. Yeah. 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 He said, you're right, brother, he said. And uh, Winnie Mandela, we took a photo, we had the Nile flag with us. But you know, that was really something. 
And an African girl married my boss's son, I'm still going to treat him, she's African, she's a doctor. A white woman in Perth here rubbed up to her car and she said, oh, I, want, I want your insurance. Oh, listen, why don't you black people get back to your own country? She said, excuse me, this is Aboriginal land you're on. She didn't like that. <laughs> and someone come out and said, oh, you're right, Dr. Madupa? <laughs> and she suffered racism as a doctor. She's a little worse country. Yeah? So it's alive and well, you know. Any more questions? I think David, if you want to say that. I mean, I suppose just one of the things I wanted to say is uh, um, one of the reasons why I think it is so important that, that, that we do establish campaigns where we can um, educate ourselves. You know, I thought it was interesting what the Soviet Tichana made the point about you know responding to uh, the racism we see in our work sites with the facts, and I think that's very important that we one educate ourselves about what the facts are, so we can respond to the uh, to, to the lies and the crap that you hear. Uh, here, but also so we can go out and educate uh, the wider community. And I suppose one of, one of the positive things that I'd say tonight is earlier on a couple of people, a couple of people had to leave early, and, and off the back of the meeting, one of them had previously uh, put down their contact details, which said they didn't want to be involved in war uh, at the start of the meeting. Went back, crossed it out, and put yes. So you know that's, that's only one person, but I suppose it's a little bit of a positive indication that it is important to go out and tell these stories. That it is important to, to, to fight against racism and that we can, from very small beginnings, make, make those steps forward and actually build a campaign to combat those uh, types of problems. Yeah, yeah, John Garland, I'm a City Sussex Park member. I'm also a teacher at Middlebrook Senior High School. So, you know, we work in the community. And there is a great deal of racism against uh, particularly Aboriginal people, particularly Aboriginal people, but also black people. We certainly in, in many, there are many people that are, oh, are very much anti-racist and I think the people here today are, and I'd, I'd appeal the people to sign the petition to get involved in war. Um, and you know, we can, we can, it can start very small, but all things start small until they grow bigger and bigger. And you know, and we're not arguing that communities should be uh, should join together all the time. It's very important that communities keep their own cultural identity, their own languages, and even, even develop their own languages. All communities, including the Aboriginal community. But what we're saying is that if an instance happens in one community. We can all come together to support them on that issue, like the issue with the gentleman here who was murdered. You know, we could perhaps bring that, raise that to, as an issue to carry it forward, to push the issue forward, to push the justice system to get justice for that family. That going to be a, perhaps that could be a first campaign we can start on. And, and I think what the, the mother was, 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 it was obviously in a great deal of pain. She was disappointed and angry because there wasn't enough people here. She wanted a thousand people to hear that, that story, that very, very important story of, of, uh, of so much pain. Unfortunately, I've, I've put it on video, and uh, if it's okay with the father, I, I will put it on YouTube, and next time, hopefully next time, there'll be a much bigger meeting. So I will appeal to people to join the organization, to get involved in it, and, uh, and do as much as you can. anybody else wants to say something, add anything? Can I just make a very quick point? Um, I, I think this, this is definitely a, a good development, a good initiative. <coughs> I think um, the sort of campaigns that we'd be focusing on, for instances, are certainly institutionalised racism, but where there are police attacks, such as what recently occurred over in Sydney, where a Brazilian man was tasered to death, mm, and... I mean, that gives you an idea of how out of control the police are. And whilst we don't know the motives of, of the police in whether they were motivated by racism or not, it's, you know, that, that I guess is a, a moot point. They're out of control and they're, they're a barbarous lot and have been since colonisation. Um, but I think an organisation like this can respond to those, those sort of attacks. And there are there are actually rallies being held in Brazil on this this Saturday coming up. Mm. 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 M